ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test. This is Season 2 of K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Giang. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Kaya din kaya nila ang ating brain workout for the season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition para malaman kung sino ang tatangaling K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Ali is an architecture student at Mapua University whose canvas is not limited to paper. She also loves doing nails as a creative outlet. UP Diliman student Leah is a freelance theater, film, and commercial actress who does improv and advocates for safe spaces. Si Riv ay taga-UP Diliman din at isang aspiring director, stage manager, and performer. And Gail is a student of Mapua University Intramuros under the Department of Architecture, Industrial Design, and the Built Environment. She loves to bake pastries and happens to have her own patisserie. And these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. At bago dito sa K-Check, Professor To Austria of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, nandito na ang mga katanungan ninyo para sa first round. So get ready to buzz in. But syempre, wait for us to call your name before answering. Tandaan nyo yan. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. So let's begin. And we begin round one in basketball. What FTL is located 15 feet in front of a basket? Leah. Free throw line. Free throw line is correct. K check. Ah, mga sports aficionados. Ah. <clears throat> Question two. By definition, what animals are enclosed by an aviary spelled A V I? A R Y. Ali. Birds. Birds is correct. K check. Question number three. Known for novelty songs like Papa Cologne, which band is led by vocalist Chito Miranda? Ang bilis. Leah. Parokya ni Edgar. Parokya ni Edgar is correct. K check. Question number four. Which French dish made of vegetables such as tomatoes? Leah. Ratatouille. Ratatouille is correct. Is this because of your culinary expertise? No, the movie. Yeah. The movie. <laughs> yes. Question number five. In sports, the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup was hosted by two countries. One is New Zealand. What other southern country hosted the 2023 Women's World Cup? Leah? Australia. Australia is correct. K-check. Sports aficionado. <clears throat> Question number six. What is the sum of one third and one half? The correct answer is five sixth. Question number seven. In what country can you find the famous volcanoes Sol Fatara, Vesuvius, and Mount Etna? Leah. Italy. Italy is correct. Kitchen. Question number eight. In what United States city can you find Tourist spots like Coney Island and the Brooklyn Botanic Garden. Uh, 
Leah. Main. Mainly wrong. The correct answer is New York. Oh, mas alam nila ang Europe and other continents. Question number nine. What breed of cats? May animal lover ba dito? What breed of cats shares its name with an ancient person? Leah. Persian. Persian is correct. Question number ten. In music, what term refers to a musical drama like Puccini's Madama Butterfly? Rave. Madame Butterfly. Is what kind of musical drama? Leah. Opera. Opera is correct. K check. Question number 11. What chemical element has the symbol BA? Leah. Can somebody steal? BA stands for barium. Last but not least, question number 12. Which American celebrity recorded the hit song So Yesterday and starred in the TV series Lizzie McGuire? Oh, panahon niyo to, ah. Leah. Hillary Duff. Hilary Duff is correct. K check. And that's it for our first round. Thank you so much, Attorney Gabby. So after that round, we have Leah in the lead with 80 points. Wow. wow. Followed by Ali with 10 points. And si Rave and si Gail naman tied with zero. So pwede pa kayo mabol. naman yung tied with zero. <laughs> Kailangan Pero pwede pa kayo mabol, okay? <laughs> Pero kayang-kayang humabol. Kayang yes. Yes. Okay. So let's also welcome one of the newest additions to our panel of experts, Professor To. Matagal nang walang ganitong game show on TV. Alam ko nung panahon mo, <laughs> panahon natin, meron naman tayong inabutan na ganyan, di ba? But what are your expectations from our contestants and from K-Check? Nung panahon natin, meron ah. tayong Battle of the Brains. Oo nga. Mabuti na lang, meron tayo ngayong K-Check. Correct. So sa mga contestants, siguro, uh, yun, uh, good competition among contestants, among students. Tapos sa K-Check, uh, natutuwa ko, ano, uh, this could be a good venue for the promotion of Philippine culture and arts. Exactly. So, yan. Up next, more teaching, more learning, and more questions for our brave contestants here on K Check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Recap muna tayo sa ating scores. Si Leah pa rin po ang nangunguna with 80 points. Followed by Ali with 10 points. At hahabol mamaya si Larry at Gail. Well, actually, may narinig ako kanina sa bio ng isa sa ating mga contestants na si Ali pala, eh gusto pala niyang maging isang nail tech. She's beginning to know the fundamentals of being a nail tech. Ano ba yan? Paano ka ba... Paano ba yun? Well, I'm not sure kung gusto mo talaga ang matutunan. Paano ka ba nagka-interest sa ganitong activity, Ali? Well, I started po during grade 11. I started while, ano, I'm doing my press on nails. Yung ako yung nagpipaint ng press on nails with regular polish. And then, oh. this year, I started doing nails using gel. Tapos like, I'm starting to get some clients to learn how to do other people's nails. So, mula sa nails, ngayon naman kay Leah tayo. No? Si Leah naman isang advocate for safe spaces. So, Leah, ano ba itong safe spaces na ina-advocate mo? Aha, safe spaces. Kasi I do improv with third world improv. Oh. Um, and improv, improvisation is like, um, 
you know, encouraging people to accept our differences with warmth and compassion. And I think that's a really important value in life. <laughs> Thank you, Leah. Alam mo, parang, parang Miss Universe ang sagot. Yes, Philippines. <laughs> Pero yun nga maganda yung ginagawa ng improv eh. Kasi diba parang bibigyan lang kayo ng topic yes. on the spot. Tapos isi-stretch nyo siya for, for a certain period. Thank you so much for advocating. So, pwedeng-pwede yun. Habang nag improv siya, nagluluto si Gail, at <laughs> nag-nail text si Ali. Diba? It's, All in one. We have a very big, very big and very good group today. Yes. And now it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Welcome to round two. Let's begin. Question number one. In sports, particularly wrestling, in what country is the Maku Uchi the top division in the Professional Sumo Association? Leah. Japan. Japan is correct. K-check. Question number two. Which hit song by the Glass Animals has a title that means prolonged periods of abnor abnormally hot weather? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is heat waves. Science day. Okay, next question. Otology, spelled O-T-O-L-O-G-Y, is the study of what body part and its diseases? Otology. Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is the ear. Okay, next question. What is the name of the period of rapid industrial growth? with far-reaching social and economic consequences beginning in England during the second half of the 18th century? Uh, Ali. Industrial Revolution. Industrial Revolution is correct. K-check. Question number five. What anatomical term may refer to stalk-like base of a flower petal or a hard toenail of an eagle? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is claw. Claw. Okay. Violent clashes erupted in Dublin when anti-immigration protesters fought with the police in November 2023. In what country can you find Dublin? Gail. Ireland. Ireland is correct. Okay, check. In geology. What do you call the continually frozen ground that occurs where the temperature remains? Yes, Leah. Permafrost. Let me continue the question. Uh, that occurs where the temperature remains below zero degrees Celsius for several years. The correct answer is permafrost. Correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. What is the name of the old movie theater charging five cents, which is also the title of a children's TV channel? Okay, nobody got the correct answer. Ito may slime. Sikat sila sa slime. Nickelodeon, yes. Okay. Question number nine. What sea stretches from Spain to Israel and from Italy to e Egypt? Leah. Caribbean? Caribbean is mali. Anyone would like to steal? Okay, nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Mediterranean Sea. Number 10, in science. What do you call energy transfer in the form of electromagnetic waves or particles that release energy when absorbed by an object? Dia. Induction. Induction is mali. Ali. Electromagnetic. Electromagnetic is mali. Bawal na. <laughs> Sorry, sagutin mo na lang after the time. <laughs> okay, nobody got the correct answer. Okay, wala. The answer is radiation. Radiation. Question number 11. Okay, what is the common title of a top 10 hit song for Banana Rama in 1984 and a number one single for Taylor Swift in 2023? Mm -hmm. 
Go well summer. <laughs> Go well summer, okay? The diba from the Lover album. Okay. La <laughs> 50 pala. <laughs> okay. Last question for this round. What do you call the waste disposal site in which waste is generally spread in thin layers, compacted... Okay, your answer. Sorry. Leah. Landfill. Okay, let me continue. Compacted and covered with a fresh layer of soil each day. The correct answer is landfill. Correct? K-check. And that ends round number two. After that round, ang pinakamahalagang nalaman natin ay Swifty. <laughs> <laughs> ang co-host ko na si Jules. That's right. Of course, importante <laughs> din na alam natin na si Leah leads by 120 points. Grabe. Ali and Gail uh, are tied for second place with 20 points and Rave with a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Up next, pwede ka pang humabol, Rave. Ang pinaka-iniintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lamang yan sa K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check! Experts, sa tingin nyo po ba ano ba yung kailangan paghandaan ng ating mga future contestants dito sa K-Check? Ano mga kailangan nila i-review? Meron ba? Tingin ko, kailangan bumalik lang sa essential learnings ng high school sa iba't ibang subjects at patuloy na yumabong sa pagbabasa. Palagay ko, makakatulong kung updated sila sa current events. Mm -hmm. Siguro kailangan palawakin no, ang uh, kaalaman para sa ating sariling uh, sining at kultura. Kaya dun sa mga parents na nanonood sa atin, dapat i-encourage niyo yung mga anak niyo mm -hmm. na bata pa lang, magbasa na, yes. di ba? Don't Holistic rely on dapat. TikTok. Not just and that. No? Not just that. Oh, holistic dapat. Speaking of being holistic, no, si Rave naman ang tatanungin natin. So, Rave, paano ka ba uh, mag naghahanda for your theater performances? Naging useful ba yun para sa yung experience dito sa K-Check, Rave? Okay. Siyempre, fundamental po na bago po ako magsimula ng mga theater productions, mag-research po ako. Pero at the same time, uh, we acknowledge that directing is a leadership position. Yes. So, you, uh, in times of chal challenging po talaga siya. And in times of challenges, katulad sa experience kasi Chase K check uh, as you can see my score uh, <laughs> kailangan ko maging strong para humabol at makabawi sa ating ra next round ayun pa tingnan natin magagaling sa mga god tingnan naman natin ngayon si Gail mm. Gail who is an industrial design student na meron naman pa lang pati si Ray in the meantime wow. una sa lahat may dala ka bang sample <laughs> oh, Tumawa sorry. lang siya. Tumawa lang siya. <laughs> Pangalawa, why not culinary school? Baking is just my hobby. And yung course ko po is, uh, yun po talaga yung gusto ko, which is mag-design and mag-draw. Thank you so much. Abangan namin, ha? Yung oh, uh, pastries it's mo. It's never too late. Yes. Okay. Maraming salamat, contestants. Once again, di ka po tayo sa points natin. Si Lia po ay leading pa rin with 120 points. Ali and Gail tied the 20 at a havel sa next round si Rave. Dito na tayo sa ating ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Remember, sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's begin. Let's begin. Welcome to K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Prof. Neil, go ahead. Yeah, unang tanong, ano ang syudad sa Mindanao ang kinikilala bilang river rafting hub of the Philippines? A. Butuan, B. Cagayan de Oro, C. Surigao, D. Togegarao, E. Tandag. Ang lungsod na ito ay ang sentro ng Hilagang Mindanao o Northern Mindanao. Tinatawag din na City of Golden Friendship ang lungsod na ito. Inilunsad ang syudad na ito bilang River Rafting Hub of the Philippines sa DOT campaign na WOW Philippines. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Cagayan de Oro. Thank you. Prof. Marla? What type of bond 
holds complementary base pairs together in a DNA molecule. A. Ionic bond. B. Hydrogen bond. C. Covalent bond. D. Peptide bond. E. Van der Waals forces. Rave. Hydrogen, B. Hydrogen bond. The bases adenine and thymine are held together by two of these while guanine and cytosine by three. These are B, hydrogen bonds. K-check. Mahabol na, Next, Prof. To. Who is the national artist and former dean of the UP College of Fine Arts who founded the Graduate Studies Program, the first Master of Fine Arts program offering in the country in the 1970s? The UPCFA Graduate Program Hall is named after him. A. Uh, Dean Napoleon Abueva B. Dean Jose Hoya C. Director Guillermo Tolentino D. Senor Rafael Enriquez E. Maestro Dominador Castañeda Dale. C. Director Guillermo Tolentino Mali There's a chance for a steal from our other contestants Time is up Siya rin ay tinaguriang uh, father of the moderns no? Uh, kasabay niya si na Edades, pero si Edades ay nasa UST, siya ay nasa UP. Ang tamang sagot ay Dean Jose Hoya. Okay. Sa kasaysayang Pilipino, ano ang tawag sa gobernador ng probinsya nung panahon ng mga Kastila? A. Alcalde Mayor B. Corregidor C. Gobernador General D. Gobernador Silio E. Principalia Alcadia ang tawag sa local government units ng kolonisasyong Kastila na katumbas ng isang probinsya sa kasulukuyan. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Alcalde Mayor. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Prof. Marla. Which force keeps objects on the Earth's surface? A. Gravity B. Magnetism C. Friction D. Buoyancy E. Electricity Leah. A. Gravity. The laws of this force were discovered by Sir Isaac Newton. It is A. Gravity. K check. Next prop, sir. This law of just thought states that related objects or stimuli tends to be grouped together in our perceptual field. A. Proximity. B. Similarity. C. Closure. D. Continuity. E. Figure and ground. Leah. A. Proximity Mali Parang pagka nanood ka ng UAAP Tapos palabas na kayo sa parking Makikita mo lahat naka-green Ang tamang sagot ay Similarity B Similarity. <coughs> Ano ang tawag sa namamayaning dinastiya sa Thailand? A. Shakri B. Prasatong C. Sukotay D. Supanafum E. Thonburi Ito ang kasulukuyang dinastiya sa Thailand na nagsimula pa noong 1782. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Shakri. What is the process of a gas changing into a liquid called A. Sublimation B. Condensation C. Evaporation D. Leah Condensation B. D. Deposition E. Secretion This process is the opposite of evaporation. It is crucial to the water cycle because it is responsible for the formation of clouds. The answer is B. Condensation. K-check. In photography, if the aperture or lens opening is wide, details of the object appear sharp when it is nearer to the focal reading. And areas away from it are blending with the ground until blurredness is achieved. What do you call this phenomenon in depth perception? A. Atmospheric or aerial perspective B. Diminishing details C. Shallow depth of field D. Advancing receding tones and colors E. All of the above Ang 
parang... Sabi ni Rave, dapat alam ko to. Ah. Oo nga eh. <laughs> Actually, ang tamang sagot ay shallow depth of field. Now we know. Anong bansa ang tinalo ng mga hapon sa isang malaking digmaan noong 1895? A. China B. Korea C. Mongolia D. Russia E. Taiwan Sorry, Ali? B. Korea Mali So magbibigay ang pagkatalo ng bansang ito sa pagkontrol ng mga hapon ng Taiwan at sa kanilang pananakop ng Korea noong 1910. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, China. Which process allows plants to convert light energy into chemical energy? A, respiration. B, photosynthesis. C, fermentation. D, oxidation. E. Transpiration Leah B. Photosynthesis The chemical energy that results from this process is stored in organic compounds that can later be metabolized through cellular respiration to fuel the organism's activities. It is B. Photosynthesis K-check It is one of the phenomena of motion perception that indicates visual response to life that outlast the duration of the physical simulation. Like sparklers, wave around seem to create lines in light. It is also the basic principle of creating movie or animation. A. Five phenomenon. B. Induced movement. C. Waterfall phenomenon. D. Persistence of vision. E. Illusory motion. Ito ay tinatawag na A. Five phenomenon. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, sir. Sabi ulit ni Rave. Dapat alam ko rin. <laughs> And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Leah, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 195 points. Thank you. Sobrang taas ng points na yan. Record setter. Galing. So we'll see her again, Leah, on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. And of course, we'd like to thank Ali, Rave, and Gail for joining. And of course, to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Marla, and To. Or, should we call you Roman Lito? Okay na yung Professor Talk. <laughs> This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And I'm Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.